I'm back. Well, what have we got today? Got two nice little boxes there, but uh, what the hell's that? <laughs> well, I've got an up and coming uh, guitar that I'm building and I wanted to use something different for the pickups. So I decided, it took me a while to get there, but I decided to opt for taking a look at the single width, it says, single width. Fishman Fluence multi-voice pickups for electric guitar and these are going to fit absolutely perfect but there's more to it than that we've also got a battery that fits on the back and it lasts for months on end they say well that's what they say now I was going to get a white one but uh, I couldn't uh, I couldn't really find the white one for anything short of 30 40 dollars dearer and I thought well I don't care about the colour because it's round the back that's a good that's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, it will still work just the same, of course. We'll come back to that. But what I want to do is to get down and dirty with this and take a close-up look. There's no playing in this review. You've got to go to the other review of the guitar build uh, to actually uh, to hear them, which you will. But right now, uh, this is just a close-up of the kit, what you get. And all the rest of it. I've even got the invoice in the back to tell me how much I had to spend. <laughs> but these are something very different. They're not an ordinary sort of pickup, and uh, I'll show you a few things about them as we go. So uh, I'm going to bring the camera in. Let's get down close and take a real good look at what we've got. Yeah, these are not uh, these are not ordinary pickups. Uh, not by a long shot. And. Uh, they need a battery, hence we've got something else that I showed you a little bit earlier, but don't worry about that for now. And don't be put off by the fact that they, they need a battery because, well, that's life. They're definitely worth taking a very close look at. Uh, compared to anything that you might have known, have you never seen these? So, it comes as a kit, which wasn't immediately obvious when I, uh, when I was buying them. Yeah, you get the pickups. Nice. Get all your little instructions and the rest of it. Nice. And you actually get everything you need to put on your guitar uh, to make it all work. That sounds like a master plan to me. You've even got in here, uh, I think. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah, you've even got a little wiring necessary to uh, get everything rocking and rolling. I think that's a good idea. But well, first of all, let's take a look at these pickups. You can see very clearly from the back, you've got two sort of run of the millers and one with a pile of wires out of it. Well, what's all that about? Well, let's go and have a look at one of them. Let's, let's flip one out and get down close and have a look how they're made. So it's really interesting to see exactly how they're made. Okay, well, here we are. The Fishman Fluence pickup. Looks like an ordinary... Uh, type of thing. Look around the back, it looks a bit slightly different, doesn't it? But it's nothing really special or out of the way. It's only got two wires. Oh, how's that work? Who knows? But we'll see as we move forward. And when we get to the guitar build, uh, you'll see exactly how they work because you can watch me fit them. And then you can listen to them and all the rest of it. What I'm going to do for now is just take the top off this one and just see if we can see inside what it's all about. Well, it's simple enough. You can just screw the screws off as you would. Uh, it's nice to notice that they've got the old fashioned type of rubber there to, to hold them in. If anybody's into that sort of, anybody into rubber? <laughs> I don't know unless you say that, sure. Okay. Well, here's the pickup. And uh, yeah, looks pretty nice actually. Oh, when it comes off as well. Uh, Aren't we lucky? Yeah, it does. Oh my God. Let's bring that out of the way. What have we got here? Well, it's a really weird sort of thing is this pickup. This is part of the reason for buying it. I know it sounds stupid. I, you know, most guys would like a bit of wire and a couple of magnets and a bit of a back plate and off you go. But not on this one. You can see right from the off that the top is somewhat different. Now, I'm not going to really be able to pull this apart. 
I can't, I don't think it'll, no. It ain't coming apart because it's got to go in a guitar. But if you look at this, careful. Let me see how close I can zoom in. It may not work, you have been warned. Yeah, you can just about see there. You see them? It's one, two, three, four. Now there's eight layers. If you look careful, you just see them. So let's get back out of it. So there's eight layers of this circuit board here. Because that's what it is. It's a circuit board. It's not a bunch of wires. Now exactly how they do it from there, I can't tell you. But what I can tell you is that is something completely different. And since the day these came out, I've wanted to go and buy a set to try them. Because if you turn your eye to away from new technology, well, nothing will ever improve. It's a bit like, uh, I'll tell you how I relate to it. Some people wouldn't like what I say about it, but it's a bit like playing music. If you play cover songs all your life, and everybody else plays cover songs all the lives. There'll be no new music. That's a bit of a problem. It is in my mind. And that's why I'll go and write new music and play new music. That's my music. And I won't generally go and play covers. I don't do that. And it's a bit like that with this pickup. If this company had just come along and uh, simply made a pickup that copied everybody else, then I think that's not too good. There it is. Patent number 8519251. So they've been the whole hog on this pickup. They've been the whole way. They've done everything they should do, and it's all rock and roll. Fish and Fluence SWP board revision 32. This revision was the 6th of May 14. Maybe they don't sell too quick because I bought these. At the end of 2019 and they are not cheap no nothing cheap about these but I just want to show you something else because when I was buying this I'm always thinking about aesthetics you know colors things like that I mean, they look nice it's a nice sort of cream color isn't it however some guys might not want that they might say well it's not cream enough for me I want a strap one and, and, and while this doesn't quite uh, do the same thing as the, the one you, you've just taken off does, you can see underneath, there's a bit of a gap. But you know what? I don't think that makes any difference. I think you can just trim down the bit of rubber, just a little bit, and screw that back in there. And I think you'll have a pickup that looks just like everybody else's but you're going to be rock and roll and they're going to be 1950 give or take how good's that i don't know whether anybody showed you that you can change these like this just like that but you can I thought I'd take a look at the other one as well. This is the uh, the bridge pickup. Well, I think it is. <laughs> Probably is. Single width for Strat. Just the same it says here. Single width for Strat. See approvals. Don't throw it in your bin with W-E-E-E. -E, which matters. Patent number on here. Same one. All very nice. This one's got a bottom back plate, so to, so to speak. And a load of wires. Yeah. But in most other regards, I suppose it's the same. We'll take the top off and just have a quick look. And the tops are held on with the same sort of things as the other one that you've just seen. Here it is. Let's see if we can get this off. Yeah, it just slides off. So this one's the mother. <laughs> well, some people will call it that if they don't like the sound, but me, I've got an open mind on this one. Yeah, looks pretty much the same on the top. So you've just got these extra wires. And I guess that still fits. Yeah, it does. So you can still make it look 
like the old style. Yeah, I'm going to put that back and we'll move on to the bits that are in the box. Let's see what we get there. Oh, here we are. Inside the box. And you get all the necessary bits that you can just flip into your scratch plate or pit guard or call it what you like. And you'll have this kit. Let's see if I can get some of this out. Yeah, I can. This one just says Fishman, 1518, week 15, 2018. It's just your average pot. But don't try fitting this to, uh, you know, a reverse, uh, you know, a back mounted uh, strat body. These are not deep enough. These are great for, well, what they're made for. So you get one of them, you get another one of them, you get one of these, which happens to be. If you notice it's stereo and that's so that when you plug the guitar in it uh, turns the thing on yeah that's good getting this thing out of that box is another story but there it is it's got uh, a switch on the back it's regular three uh, wires uh, for the pot itself that's up the front here and it's push and pull so that'll be for the two terms the standard or the SRV or the standard and the SRV depending which way you work on it I guess you could do it either way but everything's included let's just check that little bit up there I did look at it earlier but what do you actually get oh you get a couple of bits as well you get uh, a bit of sealing stuff you know and a capacitor and a bit of wire and connectors if you're going to run it off a regular battery which you can but I opted for the uh, for the back plate uh, battery because it can run for a very long time and they don't just run flat either so none of that bothers me you also get a very nice diagram which means even an idiot like me can do it, right? That's what I like to see. Negative, one year warranty. Positive, user guide. Put these back in there. And it's all good. So let's take a look at the battery. This is an interesting uh, little bit. I am even had this out of the packet, ever. Yeah, this fits uh, on the back of your guitar. Oh, even got a wire, fancy. It fits on the back of your guitar. You see there's a wire that goes somewhere. And it's got a bit of a circuit in it. And a, you can charge it and all the rest. Nice and light. There's no weight addition, things like that. You've got a little light in the back for when you're charging it. You can charge it just off a, a regular charger. Nothing special. Not sure if there's a charger in there, but we'll have a look. It'll fit on with the same screw holes that you've already got, and you can change your strings through there. I mean, how hard is it? Here it is. You can buy it in black or white. Well, I wanted white, but <laughs> cheapskate me opted out. What else we got in here? Let's take a look. We've got another fish, fishman user guide. Let's just have a quick look at that. Da, 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 da. What does it say? It says, charging and operation, assume installation and wiring as described in the installation guide. Well, they would be. Normal operation, no light or a blinking red. If there's no light, it's normal. It may indicate a completely discharged battery, which is pretty obvious. And a blinking red light, yeah, blinking hell. Uh, you've got a low battery, connect your charger. And it should give us a clue in here how long it'll run for. Yeah, scarily, it'll run, believe this or not, for up to 250 hours of operation per charge. 250 hours. Now that's some gigs, right? You go and figure it out. I'm not going to bore you about anything else with that, but man, that's incredible. 
Thank you for choosing Fishman. It's probably a one year warranty thing, limited warranty, one year from the date of purchase. So you only get a year. You've got your little cable. I think there's two cables there. You've got this little connector that goes off somewhere else. We'll come back to that. And you've got this regular USB type of included cable. Something else here. What's in here? Chocolates? No. No such luck. It's an American charger. Now, that's great if you're in America. But if you're where I am, you, you grab this like that and you throw and it goes straight out the window because it's not English. <laughs> oh my God. What are they, don't they want to sell any in England? Is that what it is? The most expensive place in the world and they don't want to sell any. I just think, well, let's have a look at the power supply. Uh, this one's uh, 5 volts DC, 100 milliamp. So it's a, it's a nothing power supply, and I've got hundreds of them at work, so I'll probably borrow one for a while. And that go back in there, like that. All very nice. Like so. Uh, get out of here. And that can go back in there forever. How does that sound? Well, I think it sounds good. So let's put these two back in here. That's all you get. My God, it's not very thick, is it? You see that? But there again, you don't want it very thick, do you? You want it unobtrusive, out of the way. And if it's going to last 240 hours, oh my God, what the hell are you worried about? I don't think you're worried about anything, are you? I certainly aren't. Well, how much did it cost me? Let me go get the invoice. I have it here. Remember, I got the black one cheaper. Well, it's cheaper in it. Oh, it doesn't say. <laughs> it just says PayPal. But the cheapest one I could find in the UK came from Scan. I'm going to show you more about that. But it came from Scan on the 29th of November. And that's where I bought it from because it was the cheapest place in the UK and they didn't have any white ones in stock. What more can I say? Let's put it away. Well, there you have it. The Fishman Fluence multi-voice pickups for electric guitar. Single width for Strat. Now, of course, <laughs> they're so different, these things. Unless you try them, you'll never really know uh, what they're like. And I think you should be trying them, don't you? My God, <laughs> these are something different. These are like another level. So I don't get any further in this particular review, but from what I can see, the quality is absolutely incredible. So I would rate those <laughs> purely on quality, that is, and until we get to the sound, I might adjust the, the rating, but purely on the quality, they've got to be a 10 out of 10. They are absolutely pristine and perfect. And I like the battery too. Uh, the battery option isn't cheap, let me not kid you. But if you're going to get 200 up to 240 hours, well up to probably means about 180. <laughs> uh, that's an uh, hour and a half a gig. Push your other plane. It's going to last months or weeks or months. Depending on what you like, you know. I'll plug it in, charge it up, and, and they hold the charge for a long time. So that, that's the sort of thing. So it's a 10 out of 10 for all of that stuff. But how does the sound go? Well, we'll see when we get to the guitar, which is on another review. And that, I can't put it down there because it's not complete yet. But uh, watch my channel for it because it will be one or two away from this review. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Can you? Uh, what an awesome pickle. Now that's a, that's a change, such a change in uh, technology. They deserve to be good, very successful. And whether they are is another story. I don't know the sales, do you? Of course not. Well, that's it for now on this one. And uh, yeah, get your eyes on some. At least have a look at them, if nothing else. You've seen them close up here and you can make them look just like regular Fender pickups. Till next time. Oh, www.tonymackenzie.com. 
Don't forget to go there. There's some reviews on there if you've never been. There's a lot of reviews on there if you've never been, actually. And, uh, yeah, it could be worthwhile. Yeah. Now get out of here.